Hi guys, and welcome to Dream Sketch. Today, um, we've put together a little video, and we're going to be talking about eyes, the windows to the soul. Um, now, if you're trying to draw people eyes, this is not the video for you. Today, we're going to be focusing all on rabbit eyes. So, if you've been having trouble drawing an eye for an animated rabbit you're working on, here is the place to get some tips. Okay, so here's a picture um, that JD has put together for us, and um, we've got eyes here on the side of the picture, and then just a rabbit with, he's kind of got like a mixture of two different eyes here. He's a chill, confused looking guy. She's also got the head, the ears, the cheeks, and everything outlined for you. The fluffier the cheeks are, the younger it looks. Um, the bigger the eye is, the happier it looks, that sort of thing she's got like outlined on this picture. So we're going to start from the bottom of the list of eyes and work our way to the top. So we're going to start down here with the chill eye. So the chill eye looks kind of just like a teardrop kind of, uh, like a sideways teardrop or raindrop if you want to say it like that. But you're going to have like really light shading on the pupil, so it's going to have a lot of brightness to it with just some darkness there at the bottom. And the eyebrow is going to be just kind of just to the point of the eye, so from the bend at the back just to the point at the front. And that should make it look pretty chill. Um, next is the confused eye. So as you can see, we've got a very curvy eyebrow which just helps bring out that kind of what in the world just happened sort of look. So it goes like into a dip, then up, and then back down into a dip and slightly up at the tip there. Um, the eye itself is still, it's going to keep that raindrop or teardrop shape. This one's a little flatter on the top and the shading is a little darker to the eye. But it's still got that basic teardrop or raindrop shape and you're going to see that in all the eyes. Um, the sad eye, it just has a very curved downward eyebrow that just flattens out just a little bit at the end. Hardly, you can, you can hardly tell, but it just does just a little bit, comes up just a little. Um, the eye itself, I like to say, is kind of a bean shape, um, less of the teardrop raindrop shape, but it's kind of like a raindrop turned into a bean. So you can see there on the bottom, it just kind of curves in just a little, kind of like he's just flinching maybe just a little bit with his tears there, fighting back his tears, and it gives it a very sad look. He's going to be like a half and half shaded, so he's going to be pretty dark, but still with enough light coming in to give him that sad look. Now, next up is the mad eye. Um, this one, its eyebrow is a very much or a lot closer to the eye than the other eyebrows which gives it a more angry or mad look. The eyebrow is pretty basic. It's slightly curved till it gets to about the part where the eye starts to tilt down into the point, and then it just kind of drops down with the eye and curves up a little at the end, which gives him that angry look. Its pupil is actually a lot darker than everyone else's. There's not as much glare on it because it's angry, so his eyes also squinted closed. Um, he's still got the teardrop or raindrop shape to his eye, but you can also could compare it to like um, corn, maybe a corn, like a kernel of corn sort of shape, because it's a little bit boxy on the end. Um, but that's just me talking there. Um, and then the last one is the happy eye. And as you can see, the happy eye, he has a very small eyebrow. So it's just a little line to be like, hey, it's there, and he's really happy. Um, its pupil, of course, is very big because he's really excited, and he's happy, and he's having a good time. Its glare is a pretty, pretty much a half and half on the glare. But your white dot on this one is going to be a little bigger than your other, so your glare space is a little larger. And basically the eyes is just going to be bigger and a little more rounded than your other teardrop shapes. So he's just really big, wide open, and very happy. Um, 
so that's all the eyes, and then here's the uh, full sheet again. And she has there on the bottom, underneath all of the eyes, she says it's all about the eyebrows. And I could have not said a truer statement because it is all about the eyebrows. One little mess up on the eyebrow can make your rabbit look like a totally different rabbit. It can make your happy rabbit look sad or chill or whatever. So you can mix the eye shapes together as she did there on the, um, I guess, the example rabbit there. She mixed her chill and confused rabbit and just made a chilly confused rabbit. Um, so I hope this guys helps you. Um, if it does, just comment below and uh, if this was confusing, let me know so I can work on it for next time. But till then, um, dream it, sketch it, and do it.